Welcome back. Casey Campbell here with Great Lakes Post. We continue our MAC men's basketball previews, and we are pleased to be joined by Michael Huger, the head coach of Bowling Green. How's it going? Going well, going well. I'm excited. I'm excited that we finally get a chance to get back out there and have some fans in the stands. Yeah, that it should be good. I, I know it's uh, I know last year was last year and I know navigating last year was a challenge for everybody. <laughs> Excuse me, a, a challenge for everybody. But going into the going into this season, how do you feel like how do you feel like this season's going for you um, with summer workouts? It's- it's been going great. We had uh, six new guys added to our roster. Um, we only lost Justin Turner, so we got everybody back except for Justin Turner. And then we added six new guys. And, uh, you know, getting those guys blended into what we're doing has been a lot of fun. These guys are energetic, a lot of fun to be around, upbeat. Um, we've been playing with with a lot of pace, a lot of energy every day. And uh, they've been maintaining that. We we it's a little different because we have 17 players on our roster, so that's a that's a lot right now <laughs> to manage. So now just trying to manage all those guys is is the challenge for me. Yeah, I can't think of a team that had 17 players on it on their roster, but uh, it's gonna be definitely gonna be interesting. But how do you manage such a big team like that? Um, the, the biggest thing is is. We have great leadership, so our leaders have been doing most of the work of getting guys on the, on the same page and, you know, having a lot of conversations with the guys and myself included in the coaching staff. We've been, you know, having those conversations and um, expectations, you know, talking to the guys about the expectations that they have individually and as a team. And um, the one thing that we had to, to reiterate to the guys is the team goals are first and then comes the individual goals and and I think they're bought into that and I think that's that'll make us you know successful okay so talk about some of the guys that are coming back for for the team this year uh Daquan Plowden uh is coming back for his fifth year with us um he's our leading uh returning scorer and rebounder um I think second team all MAC or all conference I'm not sure which year it was uh, we got uh, Trey Diggs coming back with us, um, sixth man of the year last year. Uh, very good player, very good scorer, double-digit scorer. Uh, we have Kaden Matheny back with us uh, from last year's team. Uh, point guard, very good. Uh, came into his own last year. He's an uh, all-rookie team. And uh, we have uh, Caleb Fields back as well. Uh, it's been probably a, a, a three-year starter for us. Uh, he's back with us. Um, uh, we got a lot of host of guys. Chandler Turner coming back. Uh, Josiah Fulcher. Uh, we, we, we have all these guys back. So it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch these guys. Uh, we also have Matisse Kulichkovskis, who sat out last year with an injury. Uh, we have him coming back um, this year. He's playing well. Well, getting back in, in shape to uh, have a great uh, final year for him as well. And um, I, I like what we have. I like our pieces. So going into this year, how do you, how has the team kind of done so far with that and just getting through these summer workouts? How have they gone for you? Like with um, everybody coming summer up? workouts have been uh, really well. Uh, pleased with the progress that that everyone has made. Um, we had a freshman, Yubong Etam, out of uh, Arkansas. Uh, and and he's he's come along very well six six eight six nine long athletic these are guys that I really didn't get a chance to see last year just saw them on film so when you get them it's the first time and you don't know what to really expect I mean film I could put together some film right now and you'll be like that's a hell of a point guard right there yeah but then you see me and it's like man he's 50 <laughs> so that's the thing it's like film you know, film don't always tell a whole story. I like to get out and look at a guy and see what he looks like physically and see how he interacts with his teammates and different things like that. Well, on the film, you don't get that opportunity. I mean, with, in, in watching the film, you don't get the opportunity to do that. So uh, getting them here this summer was really my first chance to see those guys. And I, I was very impressed with what we uh, put together as a staff and the guys that we brought in. So uh, that that was the fun part to see the guys and you know, we got lucky. Everyone don't always get lucky and, you know, able to put together this when you see guys and, you know, you see them blindly. And, and, and now now you get to see them live and, and you just see a different a different guy than you saw on tape. 
And uh, we were fortunate that we were able to put together a, a good group, a good crew, uh, looking very well. So, you know, you still got to play the games at the end of the day. So going into this season, I know that the, the MAC is going to be, the conference is going to be interesting as every conference is going to be. But how do you think the conference is going to look this year? Well, I think we're going to be strong again. We've been strong the past, since I've been here. So the seven years I've been here, we've always been a, a top top 10, top 12 conference since I've been here. So I don't think we've gotten to 12. I think we've always been around that 10, between 9, 10, 11 uh, since I've been here. And, you know, I don't think this year will be any different. I think we'll be tough. I think our non-conference schedules for all of the schools are getting better and we're playing great competition. And, um, you know, that always brings your rankings and all of that stuff up. And if we beat a couple of them, that, that brings it up even higher. So, you know, that's our goal going in. And then we start to beat up on each other in, in Mac play. So it's, it's always a grind in Mac play. It's never easy. It's always a grind. We always grind it out. And, you know, at the end, one team gets that separation right at the end. And that's been the difference in our league since I've been here. So going into this this league and, and knowing that, how do you feel like, you know, you've done this year with all the, you know, the newcomers with high schoolers and and the trans, the new transfer rule and all that? How do you think you're doing with that? I, I thought we did a great job in the portal. We we got Myron Gordon out of Sanford, average about 15 a game. We got Brenton Mills out of Binghamton, average about 13 a game. We got Samari Curtis out of Evansville, averaged about 11 a game. We got Joe Reese out of Old Dominion, averaged about eight points, five rebounds a game. And um, we got Gabe O'Neill from Kent State, from Rob's team. We got Gabe, he averaged about four and four for Rob uh, last year. And then we had the freshman, Eubong Eatum, out of uh, Arkansas. So um, I think with, with that group, I thought we did a real good job with the portal and, and you never know in the portal, you know, it, it's just like, you know, you, you get, you get kids out of the portal sometime and you don't know what you're getting. So I'm always kind of afraid of, of going that route as much, but we didn't really have a choice. We couldn't get out last year to see anybody. So you don't, you don't really know anyway, <laughs> you, know, you didn't see anybody last year because we were shut down basically the whole year. And uh, you just going off of word of mouth. Someone's telling you about a kid and telling you how good this kid is. And, you know, you just kind of taking a chance at this year. You know, this this past year, we were able to get out a little bit more and see some things. So we should have a better understanding of recruiting, you know, if we get shut down again. But it was just going into it blind. And that's always difficult. You know, when you look at, speaking of that, you know, recruits are back on campus again. How's, I'm, I'm sure you've, uh, Sure, I'm sure they've enjoyed that as much as you have, as much as you do to see the campus and all that stuff. Yes, it's been great to have kids back on campus and being able to do uh, official visits, unofficial visits, uh, getting them out to football games and getting a chance to hang out with your staff and getting to know them. And uh, that's where we've been, and uh, it's been fun just to just to get out there again. You, you're kind of nervous though because of so many people still not really understanding the severity of the, the you know the 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 coronavirus and all the stuff that's going on and um you know you just hope that it doesn't go back to where we were we, we, you know mo hopefully enough people have their vaccinations that they can you know we can function normally um uh, you know and have a normal season team's 100 percent vaccinated if i'm not mistaken right yes okay um also going in also last thing if you um if you could get better in one area what would that be what would that be? And then also, what, what do you want to see out of this team heading into the next, heading into the start of the season? If I can get better myself or my team? Um, your team. My team. If the one thing we can get better at, oh, I would probably say I don't know. It's kind of tough. We're doing a good job rebounding. We can score the ball um communication and we can get better at communicating we don't talk enough like if we could text on the court we'll be a championship team if we could text each other it would <laughs> just be amazing you know if we can sit there and text each other on a play i'm telling you championship <laughs> championship right there is it's the communication i would say if we got to get better at something it has to be 
our communication, of the way we talk to each other and help each other. We do a good job of being in the right place, but not a great job of talking. So that's what I would say. And what was the second part of that question? Uh, second part is, what do you want to see out of this team heading into um, the beginning of the heading into the start of the season in November? Um, the the biggest thing I want to see how how what we've done so far translates to the game. You know, right now you don't know. You think everything is really good, but we haven't played anybody else. So that's the thing. I want to see how what we're doing translates to the game, and if we bring this same energy that we practice with to the games and that that's what I want to see. And, and I thought we had a difficult time last year with the, uh, uh, no fans in the building. We weren't very good at home. And then we get on the road and we, we win basically all of our road games and, and we lose all of our home games, which is the craziest thing ever because we were a great home team. So that's the thing. And, and we practice well, but it didn't translate to the court. So that's what I want to see this year. Um, all right. Michael Huger, the head coach of Bowling Green. Thank you so much for taking some time to talk with us and good luck at the start of the season. Thank you very much, Casey. Have a great one.